Um, for today's vlog, I'm going to show you a few of the places that have inspired my uh, first novel, Beneath. Um, in that book, a family move into a new build house, uh, only to find that it has been built on top of layer upon layer of evil. Um, a mental hospital that was the scene of uh, serial murders and abuse, a monastery that was inhabited by evil... Um, monks who uh, did some very very bad unsavory things um, all dating back to a primordial incident um, involving a race that we don't really know about um, anyway the monastery was inspired by this place behind me which is Havram Priory uh, it's about six miles outside of the town of Sleaford in Lincolnshire and um, it was built in 1137 and the dissolution of the monastery took place in 1538. Um, what's interesting is that Henry VIII himself came here to oversee the dissolution of this monastery and that always struck me as a strange thing that the King of England came to this uh, little, little priory in the Lincolnshire countryside to um, sort out the dissolution. Um, it always made me think, well, what was in there? And um, in my book, the reason that the king oversees it is um, the evil that was done there. It's to safeguard the country from what is inside that place. Um, obviously, I completely made that bit up. Um, but... Uh, and I don't use the name Havram Priory, but yeah, that is the Priory. And if we uh, turn around, we can get a good look at it. Definitely a very spooky place. Um, it's also very popular with local bands for places for photo shoots and music videos for some reason. Uh, yeah, and it's set in this uh, glorious, bleak, Lincolnshire countryside. Next up we will be having a look at um, the Grayleys estate and uh, Rossby Mental Hospital. Um, what's quickly worth noting before we move on is that um, also part of the book was written here. I um, have a tendency to um, go and write in my car at night uh, partly because it creeps me out which makes for better horror and partly because of um, well there's Max Max in the back there um, him and his brother uh, make it very difficult for me to actually uh, write at home so this is Grayley's um, it's a well it's a uh, calling itself a village, it was a housing estate that was built two miles the other side of Sleaford um, that has just grown exceptionally. Uh, some lovely houses around here um, and they're all pretty much filled now and the housing estate is expanding even more. In fact in a few years I think it will just join up with Sleaford. Um, but back in the recession we had during the global financial crisis. The houses here weren't selling as well and um, people were lowering prices and things like that. A lot of houses were available and unfinished and um, that partly inspired Beneath because that's how the Martin family could afford a house here. In the background there is the uh, remains of Rawsby Mental Hospital. Now it's um, private property and very hard to get into and obviously I've never been in there. 
Um, so the photos you see were definitely not taken by me in there when I shouldn't have been. Uh, but I will show you some photos and uh, over that I'll explain the history of that place a bit more. Um, as you can see, Max is awake now and enjoying some chips. Um, one other place that was an influence on Beneath, the place that actually gave me the the kernel of the idea, was um, somewhere I'm not going to be able to get to today, as it's over in Nottinghamshire. Um, but it's a place called Rufford Abbey, which looks a bit like this. I remember reading a um, collection of true ghost stories uh, about um, the north and east of England and uh, there was a story about Rufford Abbey. I have been there before, it's a lovely place. Um, and there, there's apparently a well there, a haunted well. And anyone who goes down in this well goes mad. And I thought that was such a brilliant idea and that's what spawned the entire story because obviously in beneath they find a well and um, the first image I got for that book was um, was the idea of um, someone going down into a, a haunted well and seeing something so hideous that when they're pulled back up they've actually pulled their own eyes out which if you remember if you've read the book, you'll know that does actually happen. If you haven't, it's not a major spoiler. Um, so yeah, so Rufford Abbey was uh, gave me the very genesis of the story, and I sort of ran with it from there. Now um, I've talked quite a lot about the places that influence beneath, and um, but there's uh, one person who kind of influenced beneath more than anyone else and that's this little fella actually he's not that little anymore he looks more like this now that is my eldest son Freddie Max's big brother um, I started writing beneath when my wife was pregnant with Freddie uh, our first child and um, I finished writing it when he was about six months old and I think ultimately the horror of the story, the true theme is uh, a fear of not being a competent parent. Dan Martin fears that he can't protect his family from whatever is happening in his house and I think my own fears at the time that uh, I was going to be a uh, bad or um, incompetent father sort of really influenced my writing there and I, I think once you've got a family they, that fear kind of influences everything you do um, because the fear of losing them is probably the worst thing you can imagine well I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into the inspiration behind my first novel Beneath. I will probably do one for my second and third novels and maybe some of the short stories in my short story collection at some point. Um, next time it'll probably be something a little different, perhaps something more music related. Um, but uh, for now it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Max. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.